Welcome back to Control. Let's head to the Canyon Rim and hopefully repair the nail. Let's see what the hell we unleash by doing that. is overrun. I was out of time and out of options. I took all the C4 I could get my hands on and strapped it to the nail. Boom. A desperate move. But it's better off in pieces than in enemy hands. Trench wouldn't be thrilled. He always said how vital the nail was. How it was the Bureau's duty to protect it. Bullshit. Those years spent in the director's chair warped his priorities. In the end, he valued order over people, the advice of invisible voices over that of old friends. He lost sight of who he was. The board made sure of that. But I did my duty. The Hiss can't corrupt a pile of smoking rubble. My last act as head of operations. I'm done. At least I could take those bastards down with me. So Marshall is dead then. The nail. Pile of smoking rubble. Marshall blew up the nail. What the hell was she thinking? At least this came with me. I assume it's the one from up above. Fell with me. That's the cave sand. Looks like the astral bleed goes both ways. Now it's not just the bleed, but the collision. Everything. Uh, oh, it's a dead letter. Dear science, <laughs> dear science, there's a person in my pet salamander. He has human eyes. Why doesn't anyone else see him? I think it's like werewolves, but with every animal. Were dogs, were cats, were otters, were butterflies, were everything. There are people inside and they can't get out. They're stuck in the animal body. It's not all animals, but it can be any animal. My parents don't believe me. Maybe this has happened before. I thought you should know. Sincerely, John Lomain. supposed to go in there? Oh. Well, there's another one. Where do you go? Or are you just an extra? Oh, is there something down there? Ah. something. I think it made this one appear.
in the astral plane. That didn't go so well. Oh, my melee damage should be really good now, because it's been fully upgraded. I mean, relatively good. Still not something I really care to use. Neki Neko statue. Oh, that's a thing we've seen, I think, twice now. Containment procedure unknown. A ceramic beckoning cat figurine. Common luck object found in Japanese storefronts. The following is a list of the items observed altered effects. Non-corporeality, affinity for specific human behavior, and minor physical movement, waving its arm. Multiple simultaneous incarnations of this item have been observed. Whether these are independent altered items acting uniformly or replicated instances of AI-48 is unknown. How the item originally arrived in the oldest house is unknown. It, whoops, it was first discovered sitting in the director's chair and was immediately contained in a panopticon cell. The next day, an agent noticed two additional figurines had appeared. Hours later, all three vanished. The item has been sighted throughout the Bureau, appearing while agents perform tasks. It is theorized that fulfilling certain unknown criteria will encourage the items to appear. The unknown criteria so far seems to be finding rare places. It's well hidden. Oh, God, I think I'm dead. Actually, no, I'm not. We're good. Okay, back here. This thing's a little bit tricky to get to. So 
So what's this for? Do I need it to stand on? <laughs> Is that its purpose? fashion a blindfold from an article of clothing. Any resulting lapse in dress code will be excused. Thank you for your attention. two over there, but there's only one, so now that's what this is for. Good thing I took it. Uh. It just disappeared. Okay, great. Oh, well, there's another one over there, so... I must be missing something if I didn't use that one, right? It must be for something, right? It must be. Another secret? I'm gonna go take another look back here. Oh, wait, there's one here? Did that make the cat appear? Is that the bizarre specific actions that make the cat appear? But where? The cube is gone, right? It didn't respawn? Yeah, it's gone, gone. Oh, now I gotta find the cat. Assuming that's what that was. in there I want, I think. Just want to make sure there isn't a secret ledge or something. I don't think so. Oh, <laughs> 
supposed to do here? I could get into that hole if I jump up from the top of something. Oh, it actually doesn't let me in. Is this what I'm supposed to do? Oh no. Oh, thank God. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what did I just completely miss something over there? I'm feeling like I missed something. This doesn't seem productive. Yeah. Whoa, no, no, no. Oh, oh, oh. Don't suppose there's little ledges I could grab on the way up? Just need another launching point. It's too smooth. Now there's nothing to grab. I did totally miss the existence of this cube. Yeah, that kind of helps. Crystals in the way of it? Ah, they prevent the other one from slotting in. I tried to hit both of them, because I think the shot goes through things, but I managed to hit none of them.
Come on, I want you to come over here so I can activate this thing. America Overnight Fatality An item resembling a fondue set was sent to America Overnight's, uh, aka FPC Initiative 72A, off-site studio accompanied by a threatening letter and cremated human remains. Longtime show producer Karen Harris was killed when she, her, into the item. Mr. The program's host was able to contain the item by it. The fondue set is undergoing evaluation at the FBC satellite facility in... The package was traced back to a P.O. box belonging to the Blessed Pictures Production Company. The same company was involved in the discovery of AI-80. According to post office records, Blessed's P.O. box was opened in 1968 and paid through December 2029. Employees cannot recall anyone ever collecting mail from the P.O. box. Case 13HQ612 has been reopened. Attempts to locate the physical address or staff of Blessed Pictures are ongoing. Addendum. It should be noted that during the briefing, Mr. revealed he was in a romantic relationship with Miss Harris. He has since been placed on mandatory leave of absence for violating bureau guidelines. You know, I could probably reach straight over there if I got some, like, energy-related personal mods and lower the amount of power that's used by Evade. I could probably get over there. That'd be pretty funny, but I'm not going to do it. Okay, so where everything appeared in this little thing here is suggesting to me that I should just float my ass on over there. Hold on. This is obviously supposed to go here. However, 
I never put another cube in this side. No, it disappeared. It's going to prevent me. Um, oh, it's a choose a side thing, I think. And once you choose a side, the other one disappears. I put a block into there, but now there's no one over here. But I think there was before. Pretty sure. Or maybe I just assumed there was. I don't know now. Do you see what I see? Right there, there's like a hole. Hmm. Slightly suspicious. Could I even get down there that far without hitting a death plane? Who knows? I think I'll try it. Um, I think I'll wait till I hit another control point though. seem to do anything. Oh, there's two of them. God, that destruction is still so beautiful. Ability points. Plus 10% seize duration? Heck yeah, my favorite ability. Alright, so, found the next control point, you know what that means. Ah, oh, it's right there, right where I'm pointing, I think. Well, not a thing. Oh, you took me back here? This isn't even the last control point. Mean. Wait a second, what's that? It's like an imperfection in the wall down here. 
I guess it could have been that something just hit it. There's another one over there, too. It's a little bit suspicious, though. Interesting. What just happened? I, like, dipped my toe into a death plane? Green. It's a dead letter. I don't know if you can see this because I don't know if I'm really here. I see a pen in my hand. I see myself, but it's all wrong. It's the wrong angle. It's the wrong me, and it's all green. Look out for the color green. Everything turns green when it's close. Don't let it get close. Don't let it in. But if you do, no matter what, do not speak to it. Please, I need you safe. Peggy, I don't want you to end up here too. I don't know where I've gone. Ah, oh, that's a shortcut back down from the other side. TV. Hidden location. Yeah. 
Yeah, join the Threshold Kids. Looks like fun. Come on, somebody stand on that damn thing. All right. That's not what I meant to do. I don't think there's anything I can get to that's... No. That's low enough. Ah, oh, just back up here. Thank God. Marshall's brilliant plan was to blow up the nail. <laughs> and she thought I wasn't ready. Is cool. Holy shit. Oh, thank God. What the hell was all that? Things should 
should be better now, not worse. Emily will know. I hope. Okay, well, everybody here isn't dead or anything. It's the director. What did you do? What is causing these tremors? I thought you could tell me. I completed the four rituals just like the board told me to. The astral bleed should have stopped. Look, it has stopped. The nail is repaired. But we have a new problem. My analysis of the nail indicates that it is literally a piece of the astral plane. Or possibly a vessel containing the astral plane. Or both. Either way, right now both dimensions are vibrating at completely incompatible frequencies. The spatial friction they are generating is incalculable. It's going to destroy both planes. I messed this all up. Maybe Marshall was right to destroy the nail. I should have left it in pieces. No, then the astral plane would still be leaking in. Sometimes there's no right answer, Jesse. We need more information. No. I need to fix this now. I'll just... I'll figure something out. No, we should really make a plan. The tremors are originating from directly below us, but we don't know what... Perfect. I'll head down and take care of whatever's going on. Just do what you can from here. Jesse, you can't just... I have to, Emily. I'm the director. This is on me. I reached the bottom of the nail. So we just go down here. Was just the top of the nail? How much deeper does the foundation go? Entering day plus 118. I have changed. Though it's hard to know how or why. I no longer need tools to detect the house's veins, to hear it breathe. I can feel its blood churning beneath my bare feet. I have added my own illustrations to the walls trying to solve some mystery that the oldest house whispers to me. I have to avoid the id as I do so. They haunt me. I don't blame them. They're just following the pillar's orders. Even poor Adam doesn't seem to recognize me anymore. I've spent a long time contemplating the etchings of the tree and its roots. Did you know this city used to be a forest? I wonder if our oldest house wore a different face back then. Or if it was always here. A 21st century office building since time immemorial. Can a place know the future? Can it change its skin? Can it wander? I always thought the esoteric world was my father's, not mine. But here, in this sacred place, I finally understand his devotion. That is all. Crystals are growing like crazy here. It's almost like they're trying to stop me. I tried to get out after the detonation, but the astral spike came out of nowhere. I escaped, but my HRA was damaged. 
I'd bet a year's salary the board sent it. We never did see eye to eye. They have too much control over Trench, the Bureau, the House. They make themselves part of every important process. Nothing a little C4 can't fix. Two birds, one bomb. Christ, what a mess. But I stopped the hiss. I did it. If Faden did her part, then the Bureau is safe. Until the next thing. Jesse has good reason to hate the Bureau. But that could be what we need right now. She won't follow the same path. Won't fall into the same traps. She'll lead her way. So, Director Faden, here's my last lesson. You can't save everybody. HRA was damaged. The board said it. When Marshall blew up the nail, the board attacked her. I don't fucking like it. Neither do I. My trust for the board goes down and down. red Jesus Nobody else hears the house Their ears are too full of lies We were shown the way inside so we could help but all we've done is fall victim to the same parasite. I should have seen the web earlier. The strands between Northmore, the pillar, the gun, the id. What hope did we have? Thrown into this conflict beyond our comprehension. I've decided to rejoin the Bureau in the upper levels. To end my long absence spent in the Foundation. Northmore will be angry at me for disobeying him. That's just his way. But I don't care. I need to remain in the oldest house to help however I can. I doubt I can steer the Bureau back on the right course. But I have to try. How did I go so long without a purpose? Without devotion? I can hardly remember how it felt. I realize how grateful I am to Father for setting me on this path. I wish I could tell him that. I need a ranger sent to this location, stat. Damn. That was fast. I didn't even realize that's what this was. Nice to see a director out in the field. Nice to see a field agent out in the... director. <gasps> I think that's Marshall. Marshall? You're... alive. Soon you will no longer recognize us, or yourself, or him, or her, or them. Family is dead. The walls are broken, but... Yellow and red in the eye. God damn it. You voted his name right. You fuckers take time. everything. I am not letting you take this. You always been the new you want this to be true.
Ow. <laughs> I think uh, a throwing to restore health is going to be very, very useful here. Assistance sent. Oh, damn, thank you. corrupted. That explains why the board wasn't answering what's causing the quakes. Marshall came down here to stop this. I should have been with her. I could have saved her. But I can still save everyone else. Before I cleanse the nail, I just want to know, can I get into these places? Is there anything in them? I gotta check. I know they're just where enemies came from, but there's probably something. Oh, there's a shelf up there. Ah. Does this not lead anywhere? Whoa. Holy crap.
Improve my attitude. Okay. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, I'll be sure to. Hello, Jesse. Let's play it smart. They don't need to know I'm on to them. Not yet, anyway. I love Jesse's attitude. Um, so this way is opened up, and also we can go backwards, but let's go forwards. Why go backwards after all? The nail is secure. The hiss can't touch it. I can't undo the astral bleeding in the foundation, but at least it stopped. Along with the seismic activity. You did it, Jesse. Did you ever find Marshall? I did. She's gone. She died thinking she'd save the Bureau. Not a bad way to go. I wasn't ready for this crisis. I didn't even see it coming. But I promise I'll be ready for the next one. I mean, what good is a director who can't hold her bureau together? I thought I know how to handle things now that I'm the director. Clearly, it's not that simple. I need to choose a direction for the Bureau. It should be one that serves our goals, not the board's. Whatever those are, I need to lead my way. If it isn't my favorite direct Now that this nail business is handled, I should probably be getting back to executive. But maybe I'll keep poking around. Just for a little bit. Has the nail been doing anything since we restored it? Define anything. Anything unusual? Define unusual? Emily. Sorry, but the answer is a whopping yes. Now that it's whole, the nail is emitting a constant field of, well, think of it like low-level radiation. It seems to suppress any biological matter it encounters. This explains why nothing grows here and why the Bureau had to abandon the area. Prolonged exposure would certainly begin affecting neural processes. Wait, was the field created when I cleansed the nail? I considered that, but the nail's readings are quite different from the ones I recorded at the cleanse control points. I think the nail's field is purely of its own making. In fact, I think it would passively prevent any his corruption, like the HRAs do. Which makes me wonder what actually occurred when you cleansed the nail. I've been wondering about that myself. Did the board let the hiss corrupt the nail? Did they want me to cleanse it? If so, why? What do you know about Director Northmore? Well, uh, he was Director Trench's predecessor, and Northmore is famous for being the first board-appointed director. See, before he found the oldest house, directors were picked by committees of old men in suits, drinking cognac and smoking cigars or whatever. You know, standard, uninteresting methods. I think the word you're looking for is bureaucratic. Or antiquated. Regardless, Northmore was eventually forced to... 
Well, we don't need to go into that. Strangely, the only two board-appointed directors left the position under uh, unusual circumstances. If the board appoints a director, then how do they retire them? I doubt they go out and buy you a gold watch. Sorry, Jesse, I, I didn't mean to imply that- Don't worry. If anyone's getting shown the door, it's them. What do you know about an entity named Former? I can't say I've heard of it. You got any details for me? Well, imagine a one-eyed bug thing. I think it was a part of the board, but then something happened and now it's... separate? Interesting. See, I always wondered if the board was some sort of entity or group or conglomerate of linked consciousnesses, but this supports the group theory. Although I could have undergone some sort of corporeal exile. Too many unknowns to form a working hypothesis yet, but I can prioritize this matter in future astral dives if you think it's important. Fortune favors the prepared. Do it. I'm gonna keep looking around. I wish I could go with you, but I still need 30 hours of training before I can do field work. We'll work on that. I heard you closed the Hiss portal, or uh, whatever it is we're calling it. Now if we could just flush out the stragglers. So, what's next for Simon and Reish? Well, first off, I'm banning all slide projectors. That's it. <laughs> Seriously, though, we need to review our protocols. Research should not be making decisions that endanger the entire Bureau. No, fuck it. The entire fucking world without some serious oversight. I think Pope would agree. Certain people in the Bureau have been working in the shadows for too long. And I'd like to make these HRAs part of the mandatory Bureau uniform. They're not stylish, but better safe than sorry. I don't think anyone will complain. Not after this. What are your thoughts on me serving as director? <laughs> well, I couldn't be more excited. I mean, look, don't get me wrong, Trench was fine, but... Well, you pulled us back from the brink, so... Well, I'm honored to serve, ma'am. I mean, fuck, shit. <laughs> Faden. Sorry. He'll get it one day. So... What's the situation in my bureau, Arish? The situation is we are still up to our eyes in his. Not to mention the months of repairs it's gonna take just to get this place up and running again. But is it doable? Of course it is. You just might need to tell some rangers to grab a wrench once they're done hunting his. Did anyone ever mention to you that Darling was using the slide projector? Well, Salvador never did, but um, I doubt he even knew. Look, I'm well aware that it's our job to study and contain the things that we don't understand, but some of the things that Darling did were way outside of our mission statement. Look, these things are not toys, and acting like they are is only ever going to end one way. At least Pope seems to understand that. Well, it's secure now. No one can reach it without my say-so. But thank Christ for that. Marshall's been missing for a while now. Any ideas where she could be? Oh, that's an awkward dialogue now. I was leading the Rangers out of the Atlas. Yeah, I told her it wasn't safe, but she said she had to go check on something. Did you ask where she was going? Whew, Marshall is not the kind of person you question. <laughs> kind of intimidating, you know. But uh, she was by herself. If that helps at all. Not really, but thanks. Hopefully, she turns up. I'll see you later. You know where I'll be. Well, that's the end of the Foundation DLC. I still haven't done a summary for like what I think of the game at the end of the main game because I knew I was going to roll straight into the DLC. Now this is finished, but the thing is there's another DLC coming that I'm absolutely going to play, so like I don't I don't know when a wrap up would be appropriate, I guess after the final DLC. But, I mean, it's no secret that I really, really like this game, right? It's gorgeous. It's a fascinating universe. I love shipping Emily and Jesse. I love Jesse as a character, too, as a main character. They're really, they're really cool and interesting. And uh, I just love it. And this DLC was fantastic. A whole new area full of all sorts of interesting things. And some minor but cool new abilities of messing around with the crystals, making them grow and shattering them. So thanks for watching, and yeah, the DLC number two should be coming out, I don't know exactly when, 
Uh, I think I read somewhere late summer. So I don't know. I'm expecting probably anywhere from two to four months from now it will probably come out. So see you on the next DLC.